Hi everyone, it's Erin Bassett, and today I'm going to share with you how to create this great gift for Grandma, or for Nana, or Abuelita, or um, Gigi, or whatever you call her. <laughs> um, I went ahead and added uh, different file names um, that you can download for free as well. So I used my Scan and Cut DX to be able to cut this out. And this is about 22 inches in width. And so I didn't use a mat to cut it out. Instead, I got the additional accessory of the roll feeder. And you can put the whole roll of vinyl on and cut it without a mat. So that's what I used to cut that. Um, but if you have a 24 inch mat for your Scan and Cut, that works as well. Um, so I went and got this framed palette at um, my craft store. Um, but do you know what the great thing with this project is? You can do it exactly, you know, the style that grandma <laughs> likes in your life. Um, so this could be on a big plank. This could be on um, a piece of metal. So you can use magnets instead. Um, there's just lots of options to be able to do with different colors of vinyl, different colors of paint, um, and different surfaces to apply it on. So I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step on how I made this. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're in Brother Canvas Workspace and on the right-hand side here, that last one says Artboard and you're gonna click on that and then just change it to whatever you're using. In this case, I'm using rolled material, but if you're using the 24 inch mat, you'll change it to that. And then come over here on the left side of the screen and click on that Import button right there and choose the file love so much and that's an fcm file for brother scan and cut okay so select the words that you do not want to use and you'll hit delete on your keyboard for those and so the rest of these i'm going to keep and i'm just going to group those by doing command g i'm using the mac version as you can tell um, and I'm just going to move this right over. If you're on a PC, you'll do Control G. Okay, so once you have that in place, go up to File, and then you'll come down here where it says Transfer FCM File via the Internet, and click on that. And voila, it is over on my Scan and Cut machine. Okay, so I'm over at my Scan and Cut machine. I already have my roll feeder, I just popped that on. Um, and now I'm going to scroll over to roll feeder and I already did step one, attach the roll feeder. Um, if you need to know how to do it, you can press that and it'll walk you right through how to do it. Next, next, next. Now we can start to cut the rolled material. First we need to pop this on. Okay, so we're all ready to go over here. I've already sent the design over to my Scan and Cut DX. I've installed the roll feeder and I just went ahead and loaded my vinyl on. Um, so now um, I need to hit right here where it says start to cut rolled material. I'm gonna hit that and it's from my computer. If I had it on a USB stick, I could go ahead and pop that in the side over here and be able to do it that way. So you can see there's our design and we're going to select cut and we are ready to hit start. So scanner level it says needs to be uh, in position or set in position one and needs to be at position two. So over on this side, let me scooch this over, there's a little lever and I just need to set it at the other one. Okay. And the thing with that lever is anytime it needs to be switched, like if I forget after this to um, put it back how it was, I can go ahead, enter everything like I normally would, and it'll tell me, oh, you need to change the lever again. So that'll always tell you when it needs to change so you don't have to worry about forgetting. Okay, so now we're all good. Let's hit start.
Okay, so when it's finished, go ahead and click finish. And now it tells you to trim it, which is pretty obvious, right? So to do that, I'm just gonna take this trimmer part off and put it on right here. And this little trimmer right here will cut it off if I get it in there correctly. There we go. And so now I can remove that. My roll I can take off. I'll use that later. And now unload this. Trimmed it, unload. Okay. Okay, so let's take this over to the other workspace. Okay, so I'm back over at my workspace and here is our long piece of vinyl. And really, I'm gonna trim off this extra because I don't need that part. Okay, so now I need to weed this all off. So I'm gonna start by finding the corner and you just wanna try to get it to separate there. This is probably the hardest part of the whole project. <laughs> oh, almost, I can see it starting to. Sometimes if you just roll it and bend it, there it goes, you can get it to start. So you're just gonna start slowly peeling this off. Okay, so this I'm throwing away. And now I still need to weed out the center of these letters. Um, so this is pretty big, the vinyl piece, so it's not too hard to just uh, pick these out. But when I'm ever using a really fine detail and I have um, the little, little pieces, you know, the dots on top of eyes and that sort of thing to get out, I like to use my little pick tool that brother makes. Let me grab it so you know what it looks like. So here's the pick tool and this is really great. It has this sharp little pick end right here. Um, that, that's why I saved this so I don't end up poking myself. Um, but that's really handy to get out the center of letters if you're ever um, doing some smaller ones. These ones are really easy to just pick out. Okay, so we have all of those centers peeled out of there and now we're ready to use our transfer paper and I love this brother one because it has that grid on it um, so I'm gonna use one that I've already opened okay so same thing we need to try to remove this backing again this is really the hardest part okay so I'm just gonna take the whole thing off Sometimes it's easier to work with, um, you know, just part of it removed at a time, but uh, I'm gonna just be bold. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little taller. Well, I didn't line that up too well, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Um, of course, when I wanna show you how to line it up, I don't do it correctly. <laughs> Um, okay, but it's on there. So now I'm just gonna have to eyeball the whole thing. But what I, I like to do is just either take my nail, grab your brother's spatula, and just burnish those on there. And that helps it stick to the transfer tape. Now this could be a little dirty. I'm gonna take just a baby wipe and get any dust that's on here off. Ooh, it's kind of gross. Okay, so that's off this top part. And I'll take a paper towel and dry it off. Okay. So that's my blow gun or my heat gun. I'm just doing that to make sure it's all dry. Um, 
if you don't have one just wait for it to dry <laughs> okay so we have this let's go ahead and start to pull it so again I just want to do it really gentle because if you have a part that's not sticking you can go back and rub it again and just make sure that it'll stick because so we want these to be all in the right spot All that good and again use my spatula to just smooth it all on there now this has actual grooves in it um, these are some type of planks um, or faux pallet pieces um, so obviously it's not going to stick right there so I need to make sure um, that I rub it well around those type of areas just so that it'll stick everywhere else Okay, so next you want to remove the transfer tape. And so you're just going to very slowly and carefully peel up that transfer tape, making sure your letters stick to the board. Okay, so we got all of our letters on here, right? Okay, so I thought it would be really cute if we took some clothes pins and painted them and then put them on here so that grandma can change out the pictures whenever she wants. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then hot glue them onto my board. Okay, so here are my clothespins. I'm just gonna paint them. You know, I'm not gonna worry too much about getting every little bit of it because clothespins are hard to paint, right? Um, so I'm gonna start with just this top. Part. And I'm using acrylic paint and obviously a sponge brush. Um, it's probably the easiest. You could also spray paint these uh, if you are really worried about getting it in every nook and cranny. Um, but I'm just going to do that top little layer right there. So the sides are all blank. Just that top layer. Okay, so that should only take a minute or so to dry. Um, and so I can clean up this paint so my cat doesn't walk through it. Okay, so now we're back, ready to glue these on. I was just playing around with placement on these and I figured out where I want them. Um, and you want to take a, let me see, a four by six photo um, or a piece of paper cut, so four by six. Um, and put it in there just so that you can see with placement like how much space you're going to have between them. Uh, you don't want them bunched up um, or laid out funky. Um, unless you do and that's totally okay too. You do you. Um, so once you get a bit figured out then go ahead and get your glue gun. And I just got a smidge of glue left so I'm going to put it on here. Okay, so there we go. All of our clips are on there. Um, and now we're ready to wrap this up and give it to Grandma. For more information about Skin and Cut, visit skinandcut.com. And for more ideas and inspiration, visit erinbassett.com.